Placing an empty glass over a stick of butter makes something magical happen. Sometimes you just want to spice things up in the kitchen, and we're not talking about adding a pinch of hot pepper to your chicken. There are any number of tricks, tips, and hacks out there, but how many of them actually make your life any easier? So many articles boast the perfect creative recipes for making things simpler in the kitchen, but more often than not, the proposed solutions are just weird. Cut your cake with dental floss? No thanks. Put pizza in the waffle maker? Why? But just a few years ago, the One Pot Chef Show posted a kitchen tip on YouTube that really is as simple as can be. All you need is butter, a plate, and a glass of warm water. Mix it all together, and what do you get? Well, let's paint a little scenario. You want to spread some butter on a hot stack of waffles or a fresh piece of toast. You were supposed to soften it, but you left the stick tucked away in the back corner of the fridge until the last possible second. Rather than wait for it to warm up, simply try this butter softening tip. With this trick, you'd be able to soften your butter so that it's spreadable before your pancakes get cold. Here's how it works. First, you'll want to cut a little piece of butter, however much you plan on using, from the stick and set it out on a plate. Next, take a glass, fill it with hot water, and let it sit out for a minute until the glass cup has absorbed some of that nice heat. Once the glass is sufficiently warmed, dump out the water and wipe the inside of the cup. Now there's only one step left until you have perfect butter spread. Now take that hot cup, turn it upside down and place it right over the butter, giving your little square of tasty fat a relaxing blast of residual heat. If you let it stand over your butter for a minute or two, it should be the perfect consistency for you to spread over your pancakes or waffles. What's the point of this? Well, waiting for butter to soften to the optimal consistency can be one big pain. The butter is either too hard and you destroy the bread while trying to spread it, or it's too soft after you put it in the microwave and you accidentally melt it completely. This tip comes in handy for more than just spreading your butter on waffles and pancakes too. A majority of baking recipes call for softened or room temperature butter, and there's a good reason for it. Recipes that call for softened butter utilize sugar to help aerate the fat. When the butter is soft, the sugar can whip air pockets into the batter or dough which then captures the baking soda or powder. This creates a fluffier end product. Unfortunately, butter that's too hot or too cold simply doesn't get aerated by the sugar. In fact, it's so important to soften your butter for some baking recipes that countless cooking blogs have offered their own tried and true methods for making sure your butter is ready for aeration. These other methods of butter softening can be just as simple as the one offered by the One Pot Chef Show. Others take a bit more time, they include cutting the butter into small chunks or leaving them next to the stove or sticking your butter in a Ziploc bag and rolling it with a rolling pin. There are a number of ways to soften your butter before baking, but whichever you choose, it's important that you don't skip this step. After all, this can be crucial to improving the overall taste of your recipes.